What's going on guys? Today's video is out here on a little subdivision pond. We're going to be going after some bluegill and maybe some bass. I got the fly rod out here, so we're going to see if we can get some. Uh, little Cabela's five weight. Pretty excited to get out here and try it. It's really, really hot, so I'm not sure how the fish are going to cooperate. I'm sure I can get at least a few bluegills, but we'll see if the bass are willing to cooperate. This video is going to be a couple different parts though, all smashed into one. I've had a few different fishing days where it's not been crazy successful. But I did have some highlights that I want to share with you. So the second part of this video is probably going to be at a pond that I was invited to. And the third part will be on the river where I caught something brand new. And I hope you guys enjoy that. There's one. Feels like a decent little guy. Uh, I think it's a large mouth. Oh no, it's just a big bluegill. Very cool. Very nice. Way out there. I think there's some beds out there. There we go. First fish of the day. It's a nice little bluegill. It's a good size. Pretty good size, really. There we go. First one out of the little drainage culvert pond. Not too bad. There's the first bass of the day. Oh my goodness. It was a nice little bass. I don't know if I didn't set the hook hard enough or what. I mean, I can't just slam these things because I got such tiny hooks on here. There's one. I guess it's another bluegill. Yep, another nice gill. I'll take that. Really solid one. There we go. There we go. I've got it on a little fly. It doesn't have much weight on it, if any at all. Boom. Second bluegill of the day. Oh my, good bluegill. Coming at me now. It's kind of hard to keep enough tension on this when they're coming in straight at you. He might be wrapped. Oh no, I got him in the mouth. Thought he was wrapped at first. Oh my goodness, did he inhale that bait. Wow. That's a very nice bluegill though. It's a beautiful gill. much smaller bluegill but still very very cool same spot as the last couple I've had I like catching them way out there too it's kind of giving me some practice casting getting the line in and everything so it's kind of cool same little flies doing the trick today I started with a little floating one had a little foam in it but that was not doing the trick so I switched over to one that's kind of a very very slow sinking and it's starting to work out nicely There's a gill. Nice one. Really pretty bluegill. There we go. There's some really nice bluegills in here. I mean, they're pretty good palm size, hey? Pretty good palm size fish. There we go. First bass. There we go, hooked up, got him. Well, he's gone, quick release. Solid gill, there we go, nice bluegill. Oh yeah, it's another beautiful bluegill. There's some good ones, good, good fish in here. He inhaled that bait too, just completely gone. One thing that's nice about the fly though is that it's usually pretty easy to come out. Just grab it real gently with some pliers, twist a little bit, push down. There it is. Awesome fish. Hope you all enjoyed today's episode. A lot of bluegill out here. Had a few bass bites, caught a couple. 
I just didn't have a ton of luck with the bass. But now we're going to cut to a, a pond video from the other day that I filmed. And hope you guys enjoy a few of those clips. And then we will go on to the river. So enjoy those. They'll be back to back. There's one. First one on the fly. Bluegill. First fish of the day. Oh, here's a monster. Fish number two. Look at the size of this guy. It's freaking world record. Fish number two, yet again on the fly. There we go. Oh, giant bluegill. There we go. A nice bluegill. There were three bass that went for it, but. There we go. First largemouth. It's a big one. First large of the day, about snapped the pole in half. Get you a scale. You got one? Turn it sideways. That's a nice one. It's a really good one. I let your girlfriend one. She gets to that point. You don't get that. Let's see this thing. That's probably two and a half. It's a good fish. It is a good one. Four that <laughs> yeah dude caught a fish what the f what the f is that it's a lamprey eel is that a that's my dog? first eel don't touch that thing look at the damn teeth on this sucker oh my gosh let me hold the bottom of it i wouldn't touch that thing for 50 million dollars why don't you hold my line like this? Hold the line up here, put your beard down. Hold this. Because I want to get up close images. I have never caught one of these before. A lamprey eel. I think it's a lamprey. It's an eel of some sort. Look at that nasty. So fish will have like rings on their bodies because these things will suck up next to them. I wonder if whatever that thing that was jumping out there I had this thing attached to it. Just get him out there. It's clear water. He'll be fine. I don't know if they swim or what they do. I think they just suck up to the bottom. Oh, there he goes. Let go. That thing is disgusting. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that lamprey eel. That's the first one I've ever caught. I think I snagged it probably off a smallmouth. There's a lot of smallmouth in the river, and I've seen quite a few of them jumping. So I think that's where I got that. But let me know down below if you've ever seen one or if you've ever caught one. They're kind of freaky looking. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.